So which would you buy? The OnePlus 7 Pro versus the Galaxy S10 Plus? Let's find out. So the OnePlus 7 Pro is finally here. We've seen all the leaks and we are pitting it against the Galaxy S10 Plus because OnePlus is stepping things up into that premium level. Now, let's look at the specs of the OnePlus 7 Pro before we check out the Galaxy S10 Plus and then some of the images taken with both devices. The OnePlus 7 Pro comes with a 6.67 inch display. It's a 2K display. It's got a refresh rate of 90 Hertz, HDR10 Plus certified. It's got DCI-P3 certification as well, Gorilla Glass 6. It is a lovely looking display. But the best thing about it is it's got no notches and no hole punches. This is a full display with nothing impeding its view. And it looks absolutely amazing. OnePlus has really done a good job here, and you're wondering, where's the front-facing camera? Well, it's got a pop-up front-facing camera, 16 megapixels. Uh, this camera uh, is really fast and snappy when you're using it for facial unlock, so you hit the power button, it quickly slides up and comes out, and uh, it works every single time. Now, that motor is really fast, so when you accidentally drop your device, uh, it retracts back in so that your front-facing camera doesn't get damaged in any form or fashion. So that is actually pretty good. Now, when we flip over to the back, we've got three cameras this time on the OnePlus 7 Pro. We've got a 48 megapixel sensor, uh, we've got a 60 megapixel ultra wide, and we've got an eight megapixel uh, telephoto, 3X zoom there. Now, all those sensors, uh, two of the sensors have OIS, the main sensor and the telephoto, the ultra wide does not. Records at 4K 60 in terms of uh, recording, and we'll check out again some samples for that in this video. Now, the device is powered by the Snapdragon 855 processor. You can get up to 12 gigs of RAM, starting at 6 gigs, going all the way to 12 gigs. And you're looking at a device that also has storage up to 256 gigabytes of storage, running UFSS, UFS 3.0, which is the fastest uh, storage solution right now. The, the only device that has that is the Galaxy Fold, which is not available right now. Now, there is a 4,000 milliamp battery and you've got a uh, fast charging there, 30 watt charger with it, so you're gonna be charged as fast as possible. Stereo speakers, are including this device, bottom firing and front firing speakers as well. There is no micro SD card slot. Uh, there is no headphone jack as well with this device, so you don't have that built in. Uh, now, in terms of lifestyle features, OnePlus, doesn't have an IP rating on this, but they've shown that you can dip this in water, and I'm sure my buddy Matthew, Matthew Monez will do his water resistant test, which the OnePlus devices have always done well. Now, let's check out the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, Samsung's device here comes in with a 6.4 inch display. We've seen it, we've checked out reviews, check out all our Galaxy S10 videos, because this is a solid device. Display is lovely, it's a dynamic AMOLED, super bright display. It's got the hole punch, which we all know quite well. Housing two, two lenses in there, it's a 10 and an eight megapixel front facing camera. Records at 4K, really improved, nice resolution uh, on there. Now, when we flip over to the back of the device, we've got three cameras. All three are, um, uh, there's a 12 megapixel, yeah, all three are 12 megapixels, sorry. Um, one of them is an ultra wide, which has the widest ultra wide range. Or the second camera is your main camera, and then we've got a telephoto. Records at up to 4K 60. Samsung also has Steady Shot, which is really awesome in terms of running around and keeping that action camera feel where the image does not actually jitter or shake. So that's pretty cool. Now in terms of battery, it's got a 4100 milliamp battery in there. It's got a 15 watt charger for fast charging. It does have wireless charging, which the OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't have. It also also has reverse wireless charging, which means you can charge other devices like your Galaxy Buds or another smartphone or smartwatch on your device. It's got an IP rating of IP68, water and dust resistance on there. Uh, it's got stereo speakers and a 3.5 mm headphone jack with a 32-bit DAC built in. Comes with headphones as well in the box, so there's a few more extra accessories you get in here. 
Now, when you think about both devices, they've got some really similar feature sets um, in terms of what you're looking for in the premium smartphone here. Now, pricing wise, you look at the OnePlus 7 Pro, you can get an eight gigabyte variant, 256 for 699. Now think about that, with the Galaxy S10 Plus, there is no 256 model, it jumps to 512, but if you're looking at 8, 128, you're looking at a price range of about $889. But you do have micro SD expansion on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at images side by side with both devices to see who actually has better images or has OnePlus improved to match up with what the Galaxy S10 Plus provides. So starting off with daytime images, we have the OnePlus on the left, this is the ultra wide and the Galaxy S10 Plus on the right. Uh, the OnePlus 7 uh, is pretty wide, the Galaxy has the wider wide angle lens as you can see and also the colors come out a bit punchier. OnePlus has this very neutral color tone to it. Uh, daytime images for both look really nice. This is the main cameras for both, 48 megapixels for the OnePlus 7 Pro, 12 for the Galaxy, again they do look nice but we do have a uh, much more punchier look on the Galaxy. Now this is the 3X zoom for the OnePlus and the 2X. I do kind of like the 2X, a little bit much more focus on the Galaxy S10 Plus, but the OnePlus 3X zoom is actually not bad, but again, 3X to me is just not worth it. Now this is kind of just a closer shot at some, um, some flowers some vegetation. You can see how the Galaxy really punches up the color, especially if you have seen detection on, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, the OnePlus has a much more flatter neutral tone, though the Galaxy just highlights the edges quite well. Um, here's a straight shot uh, just on the rooftop. You can see the difference again in colors. But both images look really similar. Again, daytime shots for both, I think, work out pretty well. Now, when we move over to nighttime shots, this is a drink uh, here. The OnePlus on the left matches actually the color of the um, uh, Mezcal fashion, which is a white, white drink, uh, yellow background. The Galaxy, which doesn't have a night mode, this is using Nightscape, by the way, um, is close, but not as close. Now, when it comes to this food shot, I do prefer the Galaxy because the OnePlus tends to add an extra layer of light on the very top, which wasn't there, and it makes it a little bit more grainy as opposed to what you have with the uh, Galaxy. Again, this is a shot with Nightscape on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and this is a scene detection on the Galaxy, no night mode on the Galaxy. Now, this is a shot that is a low light situation. The OnePlus Nightscape really highlights the environment pretty well, and you can see Wonder Woman clearly. On the Galaxy S7, uh, sorry, on the Galaxy um, S10 Plus, you can see Wonder Woman clearly, but the background is is more dimly lit. The OnePlus really brings everything out. So the Galaxy is sharp, uh, again, Nightscape versus scene detection. And finally, this is the door just slightly open. Um, the I like what the Galaxy does here. You can clearly see Wonder Woman, but the OnePlus pretty much highlights everything much better. The Galaxy looks a little bit sharper to me in terms of image, focusing on subject, while the OnePlus um, is uh, a little softer, but you can see more of the subject matter uh, right here. So quickly looking at the front facing camera, I know one of the photos here is in portrait mode, the other isn't. The um, OnePlus 7 Pro is in portrait mode, but you can see the colors are very similar. I do like how the edge detection is pretty solid on the one, uh, OnePlus 7 Pro. Plus the colors, the contrast between myself and Daniel are quite similar. So I don't look like I have been bleaching or I have like, uh, like you know, ashy skin or anything like that. Um, I do like the way the Galaxy also puts focus as well. I think both front facing cameras are pretty, doing a pretty good job. Shooting at 4K60 with both the Galaxy S10 Plus as well as the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now you see which, I'm just holding these with my hand so you see how they actually handle at 4K60. There is no stabilization at 4K60 for any of these two and there you have it. So there's a lot to see between both devices here. Now, going back to the images, I still think the Galaxy S10 Plus has better overall images and does really well in low light compared to the OnePlus uh, 7 Pro. But the OnePlus 7 Pro is drastically improved and I think it's still worth picking up with the kind of camera it has. 
Now, looking at the both displays, they look really good. And when you're watching video content on there, it is sharp, it is vibrant. Yes, the Galaxy S10 Plus can get a little bit brighter. It's got one of the brightest displays in the market. But the OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't have a notch, doesn't have hole punch, and there's nothing impeding your view. Yes, hole punch is kind of cool and there's really nice wallpapers, but there is nothing blocking your view when watching content on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And that is really, really appealing. Now, uh, both devices also have, of course, uh, you know, bigger batteries. And in terms of battery life, I would say they're quite similar. I mean, the Galaxy S10 Pro has improved. I, I would give the slight edge to the OnePlus 7 Pro, but I would say they are on a similar footing in terms of battery life. Now, the OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't have all the bells and whistles like the Galaxy um, S10 Plus, like the wireless charging or reverse wireless charging. But when you compare it in terms of pricing for eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, that comes in at 699 compared to the Galaxy S10, which has eight gigabytes of RAM, 128. There's no 256 model. Uh, pricing at around 880, maybe 850 at its lowest. You have to pick and choose. What do you want with both devices? They're really solid, but I've got to say, OnePlus has soundly come out and said, we are here to play with the big boys. We're here to jump into a segment that is missing for a third uh, big player, and I think they have the right device. The pricing is really attractive. It's one of those things where it says, hey, look, you can get a premium device at a price point that won't break the bank. But like I also said, the Galaxy S10 Plus is a solid device. I really love it because of all the features that they do have built in. So if you have any questions or any comments, or you're wondering which should you pick up, well, I hopefully I've laid it out for you guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Also check out more content from our OnePlus 7 Pro video list. We've got a gaming video, we've got other content there. We're coming up with a speaker video if we haven't done that already. So you can check all that out. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos, and always enjoy your entertainment.